What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Thursday edition of Guys and Bets Quickies. I am Ninja. This is Joe Osborne. Couple of MLB picks on the docket today, but Joe, get things started in the association. You got a player prop for the NBA. What are you looking at? Yeah, this has been one of my favorite spots all season. We're going to target my guy, Clint Capella, and we're going to target his points and rebounds sitting there at 30 and a half. I love the over on this. Let's get right into this bet. This is a beautiful betting spot versus an opponent. Capella has eviscerated before back on April 18th. He had 49 total points and rebounds versus the Pacers, along with a 34 point and rebound performance earlier in the season. He does the majority of his scoring in the paint, where the Pacers have been a complete and utter disgrace. Over the last 10 games, they're allowing the most points in the paint, where I think even I could lay one in against them. Capella is second in the league in rebounds over the last 10 games. And look what we've got here. Indiana is allowing the most rebounds per game over the last 10. Expect a fast-paced game with lots of opportunities for Capella. Build the stat sheet. Next up. My favorite MLB bet of the day. It is an even money underdog. We're taking the Nationals on the F5 money line plus 100. Let's get right into this one. We've got two lefties on the man, which gives Washington an incredible advantage here. Looking at OPS versus lefties over the last two weeks, they rank second. Well, the Braves are dead last. Drew Smiley takes him out for Atlanta. He's allowed five earned runs and three consecutive starts to go along with an 847 fit on the season. I don't think this guy will be a starter at the major league level for much longer. John Lester will make his second start for the Nats. By no means was he lights out in his debut versus Miami, but he didn't allow a run across the plate. Either way, he's still a big upgrade over Drew Smiley. Give me the Nats, F5. Yeah, I'm going over to uh, the AL Central for my MLB bet, but I'm looking at uh, Cleveland at Kansas City here. And I'm going to go Royals. First five money line here was like minus 130, minus 140 this morning. It's now minus 160. But yeah, fantastic start to the season for Danny Duffy. Four and one, 0.6 ERA, sub one whip, 2.6 fit. Had a fantastic start versus Cleveland earlier this season, going six in a Kansas City win. He was good against them last year in two starts. One and one record, but did have a 1.8 ERA and a 1.1 whip. Getting the ball for Cleveland is Tristan McKenzie, and he has not been great to start the season. Four starts, 6.27 ERA, 6.37 FIP, negative 0.2 WAR, and hitters are absolutely mashing him with a 21.1 barrel percentage, which is bottom 1% in all of baseball, and a 21.2 walk percentage also. Bottom 1% in baseball as well. Not great. Also not great, Cleveland's first five betting record. 18-7-4, I believe, after losing the first five last night against KC, a game in which they came back to win regardless. But that record makes them the costliest first five wager in baseball. Numbers point to a huge starting pitching edge for the Royals. But Cleveland is going to have that bullpen edge here. So I'll stick to the first five innings. So there you go. A couple MLB, one NBA pick from myself and Joe. Join us Friday for Guys and Bets Live Edition. We went four and one on the Wednesday show. Joe, only the Buccos let us down, but a two to one and two to two score in the sixth inning against the Padres yesterday. Not a bad shout there. Whatever you folks do with your bets, best of luck. We'll catch you Friday live on YouTube.